hey girl. <laughs> I almost said hey girl. I have no idea where that came from. I think it was, maybe it was because I had like the neck. That's why. Because I know that in that song, Nellie's about to say, I can see you, girl. So I went, hey, girl. Anyway, whatever. Hey, guys. I always say, hey, guys. I also probably need to point out, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, this top that I'm wearing, and I'm going to address those of you that keep writing at me going, how come you don't flex anymore, Kelly? It's freaking cold, that's why. But I'll do it for you in a moment. Here's the thing. This, <laughs> this um, jacket is from Reebok and it's so funny because we, meaning myself and several of my Fitfluential ambassadors that we went up to uh, Reebok World Headquarters. I think this was one of our first trips, one of our first Fitfluential trips up there. Anyway, we all got this. It's basically just like a, a jacket, right? I don't wear this to work out in, but it is so comfy that I find myself, it's kind of my thing that I wear around the house Again, people, I live in Chicago, okay? You guys are asking me, like, why I'm not wearing, you know, just tank top stuff. It's because it's cold, <laughs> even when you have the heat on, okay? So, those of us that live up here, this is why I'm moving to Miami. Um, anyway, but it's funny because I literally wear this. Just, hold on one second. I've incense burning and it was, like, floating towards me. Like an episode of Lost. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but anyway, um, I, I wear this. I was looking at some of my Instagram pictures. I'm like, I wonder if people think I don't have any other clothes. <laughs> but this is just, and it's so funny because I'm not the only one. All of the girls, like Jess and Tina, of Carrots and Cake, we all joke because when we see each other wearing this, either in our photos or in our videos or on our blog, we're like, oh my god, I still wear that all the time. I don't know what it is about this. And they don't make this particular version. They have a different version of it. But it's just, and I will say this, so it does have the thumb holes. Reebok, I love you, but you didn't do a very good job because when you make stuff with thumb holes, you've got to make the sleeve longer. So, because if you can see this, when I put that on, it's stretching. It, so you... I really don't use the thumb holes. It is just so cozy and comfy that I tend to, like if I'm gonna work out in the morning, um, I will. <sighs> Sorry. I don't think I have another one. Um, there has to be a time in the future where I hang out with Justin Timberlake and Nelly in the same room. Wow, that's a lot to take in. Whoa. Um, I digress. I'm sounding like a cougar, aren't I? I know. Um, anyway, so back to this. Um, I'll tend to get up in the morning, whether I'm going to work out here. I have to work out here today because I have. I might potentially have to hit, hit the airport around lunchtime and fly up north. Not looking forward to that. Anyway, um, whether I'm working out here or there at the gym, I get up in the morning, I put my workout clothes on, usually go feed my birds, put my workout clothes on, I have my um, morning supplements with my cup of coffee, ah, oh god I love you, um, oh it's, wait, let me see if I know what this ringtone is, I give people custom ringtones, this is Debbie. <laughs> If you had any idea what this message meant, it says, good morning, secret lover. <laughs> Inside joke. Not even going to get into it. No, I am not a lesbian. Um, anyway, um, now I have that stupid song in my head, but that's what we joke about. Um, so anyway, A, I tend to, I'll get up in the morning, I put my workout clothes on, um, but when I'm just around the house, I have my coffee. I'm trying to hear what song this is. I can't hear it. Whatever. Um, I sit over there and I have my uh, my coffee and I read my devotion books. This is really messed up. This is like an old Janet Jackson song. Hold on, I can't hear it. And I also don't want to listen to this. No, it's Spice Girls. Never gonna turn off the Spice Girls. 
Um, so anyway, but this is like my go-to thing before, so I'll get dressed and I'll, I'll put this on just to kind of, like I said, it's warm in here, or to keep me warm, and then I don't wear this to go train in, but I have this and like one other wrappy, comfy thing, and I wear it around the house all the time, but I was, I was looking at some of my Instagram photos, I'm like, I wonder if people think I'm homeless and I have nothing else to wear. That was probably ins insensitive, and I didn't mean to come off as insensitive. I'm over evaluating too many of my statements here. Don't you love my hat? We got this on a trip, and I should do it. Ugh, I had a, um, there you go, people. Oh, sorry. I had a, um, I almost said a back rub. I had a massage last night, and I haven't done yoga in way, at least a couple weeks. Um, let's see if I can keep this off for a minute. Um, and no, I'm not taking anything else off. I always get those special requests too. Did I do enough? And I really need to go tanning, but hopefully that's enough of a flex to keep you guys. Um, the only reason I haven't been doing that is, you know, I'm getting two <laughs> requests from my friends on the male side. A, how come you haven't done a sweaty vlog lately? And B, how come you're not flexing? It, it's really more about the fact that when I tend to shoot a video, it's like this, and I'm shooting it before I go work out or whatever. I haven't been um, shooting videos like, well, and I've also been training more at the gym. So when I train at the gym, you know, I come home, shower and whatever. So I'm not like, by the time I get home, I'm not sweaty. And by the time I get home, I'm gonna go take a shower and whatever. So I'm not doing my immediate post-workout uh, videos. It's a little cold in here. So, sorry people. Um, anyway, what time is it? I'm at seven minutes. So I'm gonna, um, wow, I think I slept funny. I have just like, cause I went and I got a massage last night and I have this wonderful new woman who is amazing. Um, but I, I think I must've slept funny cause I have like a crick in my neck, whatever that is. Um, but a couple things, I'm gonna show you some exciting stuff on my counter in a moment and explain that, but I wanted to, These all came to my house yesterday from Kathy Friedrich to add to my already big collection of Kathy. And so if you're gonna ask about DVDs, I'll get into that in two seconds, hopefully. That's my existing connect, uh, collection. This is such a good song. Um, okay, um, anyway. Focus, Kelly. Um, all right, so a couple things. It is Monday, March 12th. Yes, it's snowing outside. Um, so I wanted to update you on like two things. What I, I'm letting it go. Let it go, Kelly. Um, two things. The uh, my workouts um, and and diet, if you will, and something I noticed, um, which I think is interesting. And we're gonna. I'm just kind of gonna kind of flow with it. And hold on, also, I need to get my water. Um, remember the lesson learned before? Really focusing on just constantly drinking. Also making sure I'm drinking my filtered water because I think that, I think in Chicago, just the water sucks. It's like disgusting. Aren't you glad I shared that with you? Anyway, um, so you guys know that um, it was like the second week in February, so about four weeks ago is when I got the whole food poisoning slash food flu, which I believe we've deducted, but I keep calling it food poisoning, whatever. You know when I say food poisoning, I mean I had the food flu, whatever you call it, stomach flu. Food flu, stomach flu, food poisoning, whatever. That's what I'm talking about. So um, it was after I got that, you know, it took a while before I could even eat. It was like three or four days before I could really do anything other than eat like a cracker. And then when I started to eat, you know, just the idea of eating anything solid that wasn't mashed potatoes or a bagel with cream cheese, plain cream cheese, like that's all I really felt I could stomach, no pun intended, or eat for a long time. So. I went through a phase, and I don't even know the dates or whatever, but it was at least a week or so where 
I mean, literally, I went to Einstein Bagels, and I'm like, give me a dozen pumpernickel bagels and plain cream cheese. And she's like, oh, you've got a crowd there. I'm like, no, it's just me for the next week. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's kind of all I ate for a while. And, and in my head, of course, I was all freaking out. Oh, these are carbs. Oh, it's cream cheese. Blah. You know, because you can get that way when you're obsessed about trying to lose weight and thinking that, you know, there's certain foods that can be bad or good or whatever. And um, so I was just kind of going with it. And, and I told you, I was sharing my calendar last time, right? And showing you that, you know, even when I was sick, at least the good thing about the first two months of the year is I can look back and say, you know, I got my workouts in. Now, um, the bad thing about the first two months of the year, or not necessarily the bad thing, bad, but what I needed to work on is, you know, and, and this definitely is my tendency, I love to do both weight training and cardio, I definitely have a tendency to, if I'm in a rush and maybe I'm not gonna, well maybe even if I hit the gym, um, and I'm like, oh, I only have time for this, I'll tend to do something more cardio-ish, you know what I'm saying? Versus, um, and, and it's weird because I enjoy both. I really enjoy lifting, I really enjoy cardio, but I will tend to, my fallback or something that I always tend to do is more of the cardio stuff. So as I look at the first two months of the year, you know, and this happened towards the end of last year before I got injured, um, you know, it's my tendency to not realize how, um, how I haven't gotten my lifting in. So I guess in my head, the biggest thing I want to work on this year is really doing that tracking so that I can see visually, you know, how much cardio, you know, I love to run. I love to do even cardio at the gym. I did hit the other day, um, but it, it's just a tendency of mine to not realize, oh, wait a second, you know, how much weight training have I done this week? Uh, I love my yoga, I love my weight training, I love my cardio, it just tends to be a thing. So definitely that's gonna be something I'm focusing on and I'm, I'm hoping to wrap up this month. It's just amazing how fast the days go by, people. That's why you've gotta be on track. It's already March 12th. You know, it feels like it just turned March 1st the other day. It's already 12 minutes into my vlog and you're probably like, oh, it feels like it just started, Kelly, 17 hours ago. But anyway, here's a couple of things that were interesting. So, I had the food poisoning, right? And then after that, I was, um, this really bothered me. After that, I was hitting the gym and whatever, but there was just part of me, I, I just didn't have an appetite for my, what I call like my fitness food. I had no desire to eat anything like a salad or vegetables. And it wasn't like I was craving junk food. It's just, I, I felt like I needed to listen to my body and just kind of eat and give it what it needs. That might sound a little bit moronic to you, but there's something to be said about like, sometimes your body's gonna tell you what you need. I certainly know, for example, in the past, there's times where I will literally get this intense need where I'm like, I, I have to have steak or a cheeseburger or something beef. It's just my thing. If you've ever read that book, um, I've talked about this in the past, um, Eat Right for Your Blood Type. It's not really a diet book. It's more about digestion. But in that book, it talks about I'm um, blood type O positive. And they say for O positive, the things that work really favorably for digestion for you, and to me, it's it's right on. It says that your you know dairy is not ideal for you. I tend to be lactose, very sensitive. Um, and it says that beef is good for you and seafood, whereas chicken and pork are not ideal. I hate pork. I wouldn't, you'll never ever see me ordering pork. I barely like bacon. I, I just started liking turkey bacon. Um, and um, just started liking turkey bacon. I don't like pork, I don't like ham. Um, and I'm bored to death with chicken. Um, so anyway, in, interestingly enough, I do find it's funny that sometimes I get this phase in my life where I'm like, I just have to go get beef. It's almost like I, my body is going, you haven't had enough beef in a while. Food for thought. No idea why I told you that. It has nothing to do with you. <clears throat> anyway, so the past like three or four weeks I've been hitting, I've been making sure, of course, I'm getting my cardio in and whatever, and some of my lifting sessions, but I haven't been back full force. But on the eating side, I've kind of just been going with what I feel my body needs and I hadn't felt ready to go get all of my you know fitness food my turkey meatloaf and all the stuff I usually order or excuse me usually make and have at home because I just 
I, I wasn't into it. I'd open my, I did make a turkey meatloaf and I'd look at it and it was like, you know, so I just kind of, the past couple of weeks or so, I've been just going with kind of what sounds good. I certainly haven't been eating six meals a day, anything like that, but here's what's interesting. Gosh, I've got to stop. 15 minutes. And then I'll get back. I'll, I'll talk about my videos um, in the next video. Um, the interesting thing is, with just kind of eating what I want, which sometimes was, I've been having like a lot of um, egg white sandwiches for breakfast with Ezekiel bread. <gasps> and um, there were a couple of times where I did, I felt like I just want a burger. And I would go to, whether it was Burger King or whatever, and I just get a, I really like to get a, uh, like a Whopper or just a grilled burger with just ketchup and mustard, but I was eating the bread. I'm like, this is what I need right now. And I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff that I've had. But in other words, it hasn't been my diet food, right, or my whatever. And here's the interesting thing. I texted Sherry the other day, and I kept, I wasn't looking in the mirror every day, just going and focusing on my workouts. And I looked in the mirror, I'm like, what the heck? You know, and I'm noticing how much leaner I'm getting when I was focusing the least on it. And then I told her, you know, she and I are texting back and forth. And I'm like, here I was obsessed, so obsessed, you know, really focusing. Cause you guys know how frustrated I got at the end of last year with the injury and not being able to run and I gained some weight back. And so I spent, you know, all of January like this. Oh, what am I gonna eat? I've gotta do the supplements, I've gotta do this. And obsessing and stressing and that was when I was seeing the least results. Because I, I just remember, it, it wasn't that I wasn't losing or whatever, but I was like, oh, I don't understand, I'm eating all my supplements, I'm doing these meals, and then here I am, focusing the least and not even thinking about it, and I'm looking in the mirror going, how is it possible that, you know, like I do the rear view and go, oh, back fat's getting less. I just think there may be something to be said about I've always had people say this to me, whether it's trainers or doctors, about the whole stress and cortisol thing. Maybe there's something to be said about the fact that when you obsess and you worry so much and you're so uptight, um, that you are, you're jacking up your cortisol and, and maybe that does have an effect and maybe there's something to be said about the fact that, you know, am I really going out on having 17 large pizzas a day? No, that's not the way I want to eat. In fact. One of the things I know about my body, I can't handle a lot of food at once. But the times when I was just kind of eating like a normal person, eating when you're hungry, working out, whatever, I'm seeing more results. It's making me think. So it's not that you know I'm going to go on any junk food diet or anything, but I guess maybe I'm um, looking at the fact that I want to, and I'll talk about this in my next video, because I gotta go, and you're probably like, please turn the camera off. Um, there's part of me that I'm, I'm thinking about, hey, let's focus first on just, you know, obviously I've laid the good foundation the first two months. I'm getting the cardio in. Nobody has to worry about that with me. I'm kind of missing, you know, my yoga, and, and I liked when I was doing that almost every night. But now let's, how about instead of focusing on obsessing so much about the diet part, I like to eat healthy foods. How about I just start, let's just add on the workouts, which I enjoy. And I've had a couple people say that to me. Tom Venuto said that to me, you know, Dr. Chris said that to me, several people. They were like, my approach is always to add, this is what they said, my approach when, when looking to lean out is always add more workouts versus drastically cutting calories or drastically, you know, cutting your food. Because then where do you have to go? They said start with that. Something to me that, that maybe that's what I've, that's why I got sick, so I could learn this lesson of like, wait a second, here I am obsessing and stressing about every little thing I put in my mouth about that being the perfect answer, and yet, what just happened the past four weeks? So, food for thought, I've given you almost a 20 minute vlog, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I hope you can wake up from your nap now and enjoy the rest of your day. I will talk to you later, I gotta get my sweat on, okay?